Every game's purpose is the experience it provides. After taking your inputs, a game's next main function is to communicate back to you that experience. A game with a total failure of communication will not have recognizable reactions to input, and will not even appear to be a game. The first way to communicate is through exposition, with some concepts the player will not understand without having it explained, whether it's through text telling you how a stamina bar works, or showing an enemy fall victim to a hidden trap, it can feel too much like work for some people to remember and learn when they're told it so straightforwardly. This can be fixed by hiding the exposition, and fitting it into the game in a more natural way. Instead of a cutscene showing an enemy die to the trap, have the level be designed in a way that the player witnesses an enemy walk into the trap. The more optimal way to communicate with players is through intuitive or previously known concepts. A 2D platformer sometimes doesn't explain its basic movement, because most likely you already know it from other games. Many design elements can be based off of real-world objects as well. Even though a game might not have paper physics in it, you may still recognize a peeled back corner to interact with. Speaking of interaction, the player must be informed about what things have purpose and can be interacted with, or have meaning in your game. This is mostly done through visual design, where whether it's color, shape, or contrast, things are usually noticed when they break the norms established around them. When they consistently break the norm the same way, the player is able to use that information to intuitively determine if a new thing has a similar function. You must not forget the importance of communicating the theme and desired feelings of your game. As the one who conceived of those feelings, you already know what to feel. Others will have to be encouraged more than you. You can break down each part of your game and figure out what experience it should give. Even UI can strive to give a feeling. There are many ways to reinforce certain feelings. Just remember to do it. When there's terrible communication, frustration abounds. It can feel as if the rules were changed behind the player's back, or they're misled by the developers. Things that seem the same but don't always act the same, confusing objectives, and not knowing what is interactable area are just some examples. Don't forget that a game's communication also extends to music and sound effects, with the same rules applying to them. Whether it is celebratory joy, cold empty vastness, or the sting of death, the player won't feel them without effective communication. Funny I mentioned the sting of death. Failure will be the topic of the next video. It's almost like these things are scripted.